legislature since the 19th century that was foolish enough to go against the Constitution. But since you're crazy, we're going to have you get some sense. We're going to win. Yeah. We're going to test. Tell him to turn this up. We're going to test everything they do in the courts. And we are going to fight. Because, either because we went through it, or because we heard Mickey Mishaw and, and, and Dr. Turner talk about it, we know what racism looks like. We know what suppression looks like. We know what it smells like. We know how it walks, no matter how it's wrapped up. And so every obstacle that they try to put up, we will overcome. Because this right to vote and to fight for it is not just political, it's personal. Somebody shout it's personal. The whole world can see through your lies, legislators. The whole world can see through your lies about voter fraud and voter integrity. 20 million votes cast, only one incident of fraud, and you claim you're protecting the integrity of the vote. I said at the church, at least you ought to be like Jesse Hams and be bold enough to be honest. And the other thing I have a little respect for is a is an ultra extremist that won't tell you that's who he is. And instead try to play around and try to come up with cute ways to make what they're wrong seem right. We know what you're up to. Maybe you're stuck in the 19th century, but we're not. Maybe you're stuck in Jim Crow and in the Old South, but we're not. And we have come to serve notice that we will unleash every political, legal, and moral strategy that we can to create the New South, but we will not go back. the right to vote, the more we will register and vote. You can't stop the people, we will win. You can't stop the flow of democracy. You can't take government of the people, by the people, from the people. You can't stop truth, you can't stop justice, you can't stop right. We will rise up its own now. We'll fight you. Our best preachers will declare the truth. Our best rabbis will tell the story. But we will not go back. We come too far. We stand on the shoulders of the martyrs. We've been baptized in the blood of those who've gone before us. We won't go back. We walk in the power of the God of justice. We move in the spirit of the Lord of righteousness. This land is our land. North Carolina will be a state where the weak grow strong and the strong grow great. All elections will be free. You cannot suppress our right to vote. And you ask yourself, how we gonna win? And you got the temporary votes right now? I'm going to tell you, Mickey, how we're going to win. Because we're reading a different, different history book. We may not win every vote, but we're going to win the battle. Because when I look back at how we got over, Lord, help me here. Our parents won with less than we have today. With less, they beat slavery. I wish I had a witness here. With less, they beat Jim Crow. With less, they beat lynching. With less, they beat the Ku Klux Klan. With less, Harriet Tubman got 500 out of slaves out of slaves. She didn't have email. She didn't have Twitter. She didn't have textbook. She didn't have a car. All she had was faith in God. Trust in God when she had epilepsy. She had a 38 pistol 
muscle on her side. She had moss on the north side of the tree and a north star in the middle of the night. If she could win then, surely we're gonna win now. Supreme Court they had less than we have. Martin Luther King beat racism had less than we have. Nelson Mandela beat apartheid had less than we have. So we will beat you. Oh, you might win a vote. You might gloat for a season. But no matter what you do, we're going to win ultimately. Because we're going to use our bosses to speak truth to power. We're going to use our feet to march for justice. We're going to use our hands to pull a ballot box. We're going to use our pulpits to sound the alarm. We're going to use our organization to get the people together. We're going to turn loose our lawyers in the courts. We're going to trust God in everything we do. We're going to pray for you while we fight you. But we're going to win. You may try to stop the people, but it won't work. You may tell lies, but it won't work. Your distortions will be exposed. Your efforts will come to naught. And so turn to your neighbor and say, let us not despair. I used to hear my daddy say before he died, that whenever you're in the struggle for justice, don't ever forget that you've got a cosmic companion. I know some of you struggle with that, and that's okay, we're all brothers and sisters. But some of us have been through enough hell, we've got to know there's a God in heaven. We've got to know that when our backs are against the wall, we got some help from another quarter. We got some help from another region. We got some help from a higher source. That's how we keep fighting. Because Moses beat Pharaoh because God showed up. David beat Goliath because God showed up. Jesus beat death because God showed up. What they mean for evil will be turned to good because God has shown up. No weapon formed against us will prosper because God is with us. The Lord is our light and our salvation. Whom shall we fear? We're going to stand in the promises of God. We're going to stand in the promises of truth. The Lord is with us. I need somebody that knows the word and the worth of prayer. That say the Lord is with us. We've been here before. But God has always shown up and made a way. Somehow through the storm we're going to make it. Somehow through this crazy legislature we're going to make it. Somehow through the money we're going to make it. I heard the word when it said if God is with you does not matter if the whole world is against you. One can chase a thousand. Two can put in the flight. Wish somebody would lift your hands and say, I believe that it ain't over. It ain't over. It ain't over. Till God says it's over. We're going forward. And there's one thing we're not going to do. We are not 